Hello everyone, wherever you are, glad you're here. I'm not a critic and today we're taking a road trip across the country with 2011's Paul. Let's get into it. March 2011 would mark a British invasion in the comedy movie scene. Director Greg Montola, known for Superbad, would partner up with writer Simon Pegg and Nick Frost from Shaun of the Dead to bring us Paul. Right off the back, we get introduced to the city of Moorcroft, Wyoming, 1947. It's farmland territory, so imagine a single home surrounded by acres of land. Loud barking can be heard from the family pet, flashing lights, and a feeling of uncertainty. Out of the sky, a UFO, and like a rocket, it comes crashing down. Unfortunately, there's a casualty. The loving dog is no more. Let's fast forward a couple of years. Introducing our main leads, Graham Willey, played by Simon Pegg, and Clive Gollins, represented by Nick Frost, in present day Comic Con San Diego. It's a day filled with sci-fi cosplay, props, and meeting and greeting with the legendary author Adam Shadowchild, played by Jeffrey Tambor. It's revealed that the duo are on a vacation, traveling to California, Nevada, Arizona, and ending at New Mexico. What better way to travel than in a 1987 Winnebago Chieftain, nicknamed Traveling Beagle. After a cool montage of epic locations that the duo visited, the film slows down at a diner. Here they meet two gentlemen that are the classic me and type. Pushing negative vibes, they get out of there. But the mood all changes when Clive backs up and smashes the side of a truck. Keep this scene in your memory, because it will play a key role in the future. Suspense begins to build as the boys see a pair of headlights approaching from down the road. Fearing it's the mean guys from before, they hop on the RV and hightail it out of there. Relief comes when the vehicle turns out to be a blacked out Crown Vic. The Vic veers out of control, flips, and explodes. In comes One Alien Paul, voiced by Seth Rogen. One of the most dramatic introductions of a character, and I love it. Fun facts about Paul, he has abilities, invisibility, healing, telepathic download, and life longevity. Four more key characters come into the storyline. Jason Bateman is Agent Zoyle, the big guy who is Sigourney Weaver, Haggard, portrayed by Bill Hagger, and O'Reilly by Joe Lo Triglio. All four are one way or another interested in locating Paul. After a hilarious failed roadblock between Haggard and O'Reilly, the hunt was on. Paul has been a resident on the planet since the late 40s. It's been over a decade now, so what exactly has he been doing? Besides being a government advisor, he's also been influencing pop culture. He is a visitor that soon became a prisoner. Graham and Clive were just your usual tourists visiting the unpopular locations in the American Midwest. Out of nowhere, their lives would forever change. Paul, the extraterrestrial, needs their help. Involuntarily, this adventure would involve a religious father, Moses Bugs, by actor John Carroll Lynch, and his daughter, Ruth Bugs, actor Kristen Wiig. One final stop, an old friend that needs to be revisited to make amends. A world that brings people together can also leave scars. Paul knows he killed the dog, and for this action, he needs to apologize to Tara Walton, the beautiful Blythe Danner. She hesitates, and with no time to think, she becomes another player in this world of mystery. Life at times has a tendency to circle back to past points. The two mean guys from earlier are back. The FBI agents are closing in. Ruth's father is not far behind. The last moment of the film is a mix of suspense and comedy. Those that have gotten to know Paul are dedicated to help him out till the end. All jokes aside, a heartwarming feeling falls over everyone as the time to say goodbye comes. Nobody expected what would happen when the adventure began, but in the end, love shined the brightest. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more content. Mad love.